<laughs> then we move on. <laughs> Welcome to Beer Explaining. I am Beers Not Esquire. I'm Hoppy Hippo. And this week, we are going to be sampling All In, a barrel-aged stout from Belching Beaver. This week in our barrel-aged series. That's true. It's the fifth straight barrel aged. Fifth straight barrel aged. Right yes. Got to get we, through that fridge. Wasn't the plan, but apparently that's what we're doing. We still got quite a few fridge. more. Yeah, gotta we got to get through that fridge. Um, this one is barrel aged with coffee, maple syrup, and vanilla. And I got to be honest, that sounds fucking amazing. I think this is a limited edition because I feel like this was actually from their. Um, I bought this from Belching Beaver's anniversary pack um, in December, I think, maybe November. And it was. Oh, the, nice. They're calling it celebrating eight years. Eight years ago today, I met Troy playing poker at my place. Legit. Mm -hmm. Drinking homemade beer. When I decided to open a brewery, I called him and asked if he wanted to join me and my winemaking partner, Dave. I told him that the brewery was going to be based on great beer for everyone and having a good time. To push him, I repeated a line we used in our games, no guts, no glory. To which he replied, I'm all in. All three of us quit our regular careers. Dave and I emptied our bank accounts and Troy started making great beer. Belching Beaver was born, all in. I was unaware of this story, but I like it. I like it. Uh, one day, I too hope to quit my regular career to make beer or watch someone else make beer while watching someone else cook food. And I just sort of run in front of house probably because I am super fucking friendly. We talked about that with Son, and uh, I got a five-year plan. Just so you know. Maybe you should include your wife in this decision. Says, <laughs> says, says the woman who bought a house without telling her husband. But anyway. What abs? What abs? <laughs> we're we're going to pop this right here. So, yeah, uh, Belching Beaver. Corey, you want to talk about Belching All right, Beaver? Belching Beaver, they're located in San Diego. Uh, they have, I want to say, three locations in San Diego. I've only been to One's the... One's closing down, though, right? Well, yeah, Ocean Beach actually is closing down, so I guess they might have two locations now. I've been to the Ocean Beach one, which is the one that is closing. Um, it's near... Honestly, Ocean Beach is my favorite San Diego neighborhood, to be fair. Um, so that was good. We've been to their downtown one as well. They're kind of their big facility where their production facility is. Um... Wait, no, I'm confusing them with modern times. I've only yeah. actually been to the one in Ocean Beach, so I actually don't know what their regular facility is like. I've the Ocean Beach there. one was great, though. It was, like, super wide open, um, right there on one of the main streets. or some other breweries right there, and then within, like, spitting distance, there was, like, four other breweries. Honestly, I, I'm sad they're shutting down because we are going to go to San Diego hopefully later this year. Something um, else to watch so, now. It doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> she can just fucking stay home. She doesn't want to go to San Diego. She doesn't like fine. beaches and It's fine. No, it's great. Uh, I found them because they make the world's best peanut butter stout. Hands down. Sure. Not even an argument. It's fucking great. And, um, yeah, it is everything you want in a peanut butter stout. It really is. It really is. So, yeah. yeah. We actually heard of them. I heard of them before the peanut butter stout because we were at uh, a little thing that they call a Palooza Palooza. Oh, that's the thing up at uh, Mammoth. Yeah, at a Mammoth. And um, it's a beer festival and blues concert. And we were there with Jeff and his wife. And not for not, if you see a place called Belching Beaver, you got to get a shirt. Yeah, no. You kind of have to. So yeah, we had them there. That was, I want to say it was about five years ago. And they're really good. But their beers are good. But the peanut butter stout is. Peanut butter stout, I think, is their best stout, beer. Generally speaking, just so. stout. So. We'll see. So we did pick up their, uh, we did pick up their uh, anniversary pack. So we got a couple more barrel aged from the next week. We'll do a barrel aged bracket from them as well. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I don't know. Right. We, have, we have two of them, though. We're going to drink them. We'll figure out what a bracket is. I'll have to do some research. We might have a barrel-aged Wild Ale from them, which um, I don't know if that counts as a sour of the week. Or I don't think a it's a sour. Week. I, I wouldn't call know. it a sour, necessarily. You know, I don't know. I, it's more more of a Saison, I would call a Wild Ale. I would, but I would put Saisons in our sour. Yeah, I guess that's true. Though, there's there's way I mean, more tart, like, tart's like more the jam. So, that's true. Uh, what we have here is Cocoa Nibs, Maple Syrup, and Vanilla, right? Is that what you said? Coffee. Oh, co oh yeah, maple coffee, syrup. maple syrup, and, and vanilla. vanilla. <clears throat> um, and it's barely, so it does not say what it's aged in. Oh, what kind of barrels? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you don't know about that. But, um, yeah, hopefully, let's go smell. I bet, I, I'm expecting maple syrup, obviously, because that feels like it should be the And some coffee, too. Smells, you should get right? some coffee. Oh, goodness. Wow. You get the maple syrup, right? And, and actually, you got a little tinge of the coffee on it. I get, I get actually more maple syrup than anything. Yeah, I, no, you can smell all you, of them. You really can. Uh, I'm just a little worried about this thing. Wow. Yeah, 11 point one. Okay. That's smaller than the last few weeks. It's true. It's true. Let's give it a shot. But it, oh, it just. Oh, man. It's like creamy. Holy and like, shit. It's so smooth. God, it's just like drinking this beautiful. Wow. Just almost, wow. almost sort of milkshakey sort of smoothness right in your mouth, man. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, this, put, this is close the, to that one we did. The, the wife's yeah. comment was on the smell was, oh my god, and that's kind of my comment on the plate. This, this is, is so um, good. If I could drink a beer, that would be it. This shit is dangerous. This is very likely my new favorite barrel aged beer we've had. I, I don't. I. It's better. I'm than a very very hard grader. I'm a very hard grader. You have to try this. Fucking this <laughs> and I poured it all. Um, this might get a five. Yeah, it's fucking great. I've never rated a beer a five. This I shit might get a five. Oh Go, my god. Until you try it. What rating scale is that? Get it up in your mouth. You gotta get it in your mouth. Get it up for a fill. Get the mouth filled up. I did. Oh, okay. Don't tell me how to drink beer. You know what? Okay. There's a dolphin gnome says what? <laughs> it is called beer splaining. <laughs> That's right. It's our job to tell you how to drink. It's very good, but I'm still not a fan of you're, but you're just, oh my. The, but the, the best part is, so, Damn, to get good. into the flavors. That good. They really blended. As a matter of fact, the least flavor that I think I get is the coffee. I think that's fair. You get more of the maple, and the, and that's not a bad thing. The the flavors are all blended together so well that I I, I think I'm tasting I get a maple mouth. coffee. God, the mouthfeel is so fucking it's silky. silky. It's silky. Great, man. Like if I if I if I had to critique it, like it's not a perfect beer. It might be a little too sweet. But I mean that's straight nitpicking. That was just like Corey find something wrong with right, the right. beer it, style. It is sweet. Like, I, it, it is sweet, but it's not. It's not too sweet. It's not sickly sweet. Like a lot of times you can have sickly sweet. Mm -hmm. um, no, this is this is great. And this is if I'm a cigar smoker, and I'm not a cigar smoker. Yes. If I'm a cigar smoker, I'm sitting here and I'm gonna sip on this bottle for about two hours and have a cigar and just enjoy the fuck out of it. Because that's what I think this means. Yeah, this is a nice, slow <clears throat> drinker. I mean, we're going to slam this thing into our next beer. Because that's because we're, uh, you know, we drink. We're stupid. Much. Yeah. But this uh, is. My this dad is needs that. Great. Your father needs one of these. But they're. Well, unfortunately, they it's a um, limited edition. Well, they need to make more. <laughs> well, we'll get one. We'll get one at, at year nine. I, I, I. Wow. If you could. Yeah, this has got to be a five on the untapped. I think it's I, great. I don't know if you can find this. But if you can find this, get it. This beer this is, is called All In. From a Belting Beaver. Wow. It's also got a dope dope bottle art, too. Yeah, but because of the poker. Like a crazy right? like lion king because of the yeah. poker theme. You've also got a picture of all three of the um, um, all three of the owners there. On poker Dave chips. And Troy on poker chips with cards. That's good stuff. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, this is great. Wow. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. That This is great. That's, that's I, I, I went into this the thing. The flavors are there. It's... I went into this thinking it was going to be a little too sweet. It was going to be a little too heavy. Um, it is none of those things. It, it is. This is impressive. Congratulations, Belching Beaver. I, I, I agree with Corey. This is my favorite barrel aged beer I've ever had. It's great. It's great. It's great. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to wrap this one up. I think, I think so. Before we hit, um, this beer is fucking great. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, good.